वेलकम अगेन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए पार्ट थर्ड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द पोएम द नाइट ऑफ स्कॉर्पियन बाय निसी एजिकल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस पोएम इन दैट वीडियो we have discussed the intro of the poem about the poem about the poet in today's video we will analyze the poem the night of scorpion by nisim ezekiel or you can say this is the literary analysis of the poem the night of the scorpion before we start the literary analysis a few words of the poem this poem is in this poem ezekiel is recounting the night when his mother was stung by a scorpion and the reaction of the peasants his father and his mother to that this poem is a picture of an ordinary day in a rural indian life the night of the scorpion is a poem of free verse with eight stanzas and a total of 47 lines there is no set rhymes or rhyme scheme and the meter is mixed in this poem the scorpion is seen by some as an evil force bringer sorry bringer of pain and hardships and even death note the use of the word diabolics the desperate creature stings the woman and makes of out into the rain the peasants are seen as being superstitious and old fashioned even illiterate not having moved on their thinking and culture this poem presents the typical indian village life the peasants are stick to their stup superstitious and they don't want to move from this the father meanwhile is just the opposite in the sense that he is a rational reductive type of person who is unimpressed with the peasants and their mumbo jumbo yet he resorts to using paraffin on the mother's stove setting it alight not a very scientific response the mother preserves she is in agony all night but finally trumps and does not scum to the venom of scorpion for all that time she was unable to utter a word capable of only of groans until the pain subsided and the relief she felt gave her the power to sum her experience up thank goodness it was her who took the who took the sting and not her children for they probably would not have survived this is the motherly infection sorry this is the motherly 
लव टू देयर चिल्ड्रन नाइट ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियन इज एन ऑर्डनरी एन इंडियन पोएम बाय एन इंडियन राइटर हुज एंथोजियसम फॉर द इंडियन सोइल एंड इट्स कस्टमरी ह्यूमन ओकेजन्स ऑफ एवरी डे इंडियन लाइफ इज सबलाइम ए डिसेंट न्यूमरस इंडियंस आर इग्नोरेंट एंड आर इन डिस्क्रिमिनेटली सुपरस्टिशियस इन एनी केस दे आर स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एडोरिंग एंड एडोरेबल दे एंडीवियर टू स्पेयर द कैजुअलिटी बाय डूइंग वॉट एवर दे कैन बी दैट इट मे दे डोंट सक्सीड द पोएम इज ट्रांसलेटेड एज एन एम्बेमेटिक जस्ट अपोजिशन ऑफ हैजीनेस एंड लाइट द नाइट द स्कॉर्पियन द टॉक्सिक सबस्टेंस एंड द एगोनी स्पीक टू डिसमिस द सीजलेस रेन रिमेन्स फॉर एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड रिकवरी कैंडल्स लैम्प्स नेबर्स एंड एट लास्ट द रेक्यूपरेशन ऑफ द मदर स्पीक टू लाइट द पोएम कैन लाइक वाइज बी थॉट ऑफ एम्बलेमेटिक ऑफ गुड एंड इंसिडियंसनेस एज वेल एजिकल uses a simile comparing the villagers to swarms of fleas linnet it is striking that he uses an insect image to describe the people's reaction to an invertebrate sting he develops the simile in the following line they buzzed the name of god line number 9 what does the fly simile suggest about ezekiel's attitude to the neighbors the neighbors candles and lanterns throw giant scorpion shadows on the walls line number 13 we know that the scorpion has already fled so are these images of the people themselves a scorpion has eight legs so the shadow of a small group of people standing together could look like a scorpion if so what does this shadow about Ezekiel's attitude to the neighbors Ezekiel uses a simile comparing the villagers to swarms of fleas line number 8 there is a contrast between the neighbors piece of understanding line number 31 and the mother who twisted groaning on a mat line number 35 it is ironic that they are at peace because of her discomfort there is alliteration throughout the poem that helps to link or emphasize ideas the scorpion is seen parting with his poison line number 5 ezekiel's father tries herbs and hybrids line 38 
Ezekiel sees flame feeding, line number 41, on his mother. Underline other examples of alliteration and see if you can explain the eff effectiveness of their use. There is a lot of repetition so that we hear the villagers prayer and incarnations. Ezekiel uses direct speech made to dramatize the scene and to the echoed. They said is like a chorus. A group of characters in classical Greek drama who comment on the action but don't take part in, in it. In a song, the chorus is a section that is regularly repeated. So, there is repetition, there is alliteration, there is the use of similes in this whole poem. The poem can be seen as a figurative binary of darkness and the light, the night, the scorpion, the poison and suffering represent darkness. The incessant train stands for hope and regenerations. The poem is a picture of ordinary day in rural Indian life. The poem's style is unique because of its unrhymed structure. There is use of the sorry the use of vocal sorry the use of vocabulary is also noticeable in this poem. So this is a great poem written by Nisim Ezekiel. Uh, 